Hello everyone, I'm the cat. <laughs> it actually is funny saying that. Okay. <clears throat> right, uh, I would like to talk of a serious and touchy issue. Uh, that would be guns and people. <clears throat> and the mix of the two. I'm not in favor of more gun control laws. I'm in favor of training people to have the self-control, the honor, the discipline, the respect, and the general care and concern for their fellow person to control themselves in regards to guns. Think about it. It's, it's a simple logic setup. You have a problem of people not exercising self-control and doing stupid things. And we're seeing shootings become an almost daily occurrence because people are under stress. <clears throat> I, I'm never going to bother with uh, dumb things like that. I'm simply applying myself to the situation and saying, okay, I can do better for myself. It's like, simple, self-control. So, it, it, instead of crying gun control, which is a band-aid solution, we need to exercise self-control and we need to teach everyone yeah, hello Balto hi uh, thank you yes it's been a rough day I've been gone half the day and then I slept the other half I know we need to train kids to have the proper respect discipline self-control the honor, the care and concern for their fellow being to not to not glamorize and glori glor glorify the use of guns. So, in that regard, when Trump said it's what people are seeing and how they're perceiving it, yeah, that, that does definitely helps a lot because you change your perspective to open your mind to think seeing things in a new way and we need to practice self-control instead of trying to control something outside of ourselves <clears throat> that is a symptom of the problem. The, the problem here is the enormous amount of stress everyone's under and the lack of imagination that people have had to deal with their problems. So we need to de-stress a lot of stuff. We need to de-stress situations. We need to have less punishment and we need to sit down with people and explain to them these things, these rules, and think before you act. We don't need to punish people for things that they haven't been trained to deal with. That in itself is wrong. <clears throat> So, training yourself to exercise self-control, discipline, honor, and respect, then the basic care and concern for your fellow being, I'm not going to say it's easy, but if you start with the idea of keeping those things in your mind, keep them on your mind, and how your actions show people 
your levels of those things, your level of honor, discipline, respect, and self-control, things will be a little bit better and things will ease into being better over time. Just start by keeping those subjects on your mind. It's not difficult to do that. Just write it down and keep those things with you in some form. However you choose to remember them. Personally, I write things down and occasionally I'll sit down and say them out loud, <laughs> but mostly I'll write them down. Me keeping notes is how I keep up with a lot of stuff. Just start with honor, discipline, respect, self-control. Look them up, see the definitions of them. Write those down if you have to. But just start by keeping these things on your mind. And we won't need to worry about gun control because we will begin to have self-control and people will have that basic care and concern for their fellow being and they won't go out of their way or they, they'll make sure that they don't put stress on other people unnecessarily. Now, me... I've said in another video, I'm on disability. I'm doing YouTube because this is the only job I can do. Uh, as far as Balto, stop biting me. I know that's how you you, you want to play. Yeah, he wants to play. As far as another touchy subject, the shooting at the YouTube headquarters that was because this person didn't exercise their self-control their honor discipline respect they didn't exercise their care and concern for their fellow person and this is because they chose to handle the stress of the situation poorly they chose to do that instead of getting another job when they are an able-bodied fully able-bodied person they chose to do things well in my sight that was pretty stupid now <sighs> these are some pretty touchy subjects and I don't want to get everyone's heckles all up in a tizzy okay I just want you to know that if you start by being aware of the need for honor, discipline, respect, self-control, your basic care and concern for your fellow being, if you keep that in mind and you exercise your train of thought based around those things everything will go much smoother for everyone if everyone starts doing that it'll help a lot also that ties into uh, you know a little how-to guide for Jacksepticeye's positive mental attitude and that, that is essentially how you start exercising a positive mental attitude. You focus on honor, discipline, respect, self-control, your basic care and concern for your fellow being. That is how you begin to exercise a positive mental attitude. So I'm going to throw that in the, uh, the tags. And I would greatly appreciate if all of you share this video yeah share this video leave a like subscribe leave a comment stating a situation you've been in and the choices that you could have made either way let start by exercising your creative thinking process to narrate a uh, 
a scenario and the choices you could have. Don't go unrealistically and go with extremes like, oh, you could kill them or you could go up and hug them. Think about the things that are in between those extremes. We don't need things to be polarized as black or white, yes or no. We need, we need to think of all the options to, uh, to expand your way of thinking so that you have a positive standing where you, where you set your consciousness is a positive standing and then you look out from there you go out from there and you explore the possibilities that's what we need we don't need gun control we don't need more harsh punishments for people we need to exercise self-control honor discipline respect basic care and concern for our fellow being the basic fundamentals of a positive mental attitude i've made this video because it's a subject that needs to be talked about in this way it needs to be talked about as a learning experience and it needs to be addressed as a support to Jack's positive mental attitude hashtag. So, please, share this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Also, please join my Patreon and support my channel today. I would greatly appreciate it. Keep your hashtag PMA going, everybody. We'll get the world changed for better. I promise you that. And no, we don't have to die trying. Till next time, everyone. Bye.